Okay, welcome back. Week 8, Fusion Monday. Today we're going to talk about loft and sweep. Um, in this, we're also going to talk about how to do offset planes. The thing to understand about these two features, there's other ones, but these are the two we're going to start with. These is where we start to get into where you need to have multiple sketches in order to do a feature. So up through week seven, we pretty much made a sketch, used that sketch in the feature. In week seven, we actually, with holes, we did a little bit of using the sketch multiple times but made, to make multiple features. But in this case, we're going to need multiple sketches in order to create one feature. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to hop over to Fusion and we're simply going to draw a uh, inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter square. Now to understand this is very, it's more important here than normal to make sure that the orientation between the planes, because we're going to have to make multiple planes. Um, so using a center justified uh, square and an ellipse um, is very important. So if we hop into Fusion. We hop into Fusion, we're going to start a sketch. It doesn't really matter what plane we choose. We are going to draw a center justified square at 1.5, tab 1.25. And then we are going to hit finish sketch. Now we have our first of two sketches needed to make a loft. So the next thing we have to do is we have to do what's called an offset plane. And an offset plane is we need to create another plane a known distance away from this plane. So we are going to go under Construct, and you see Offset Plane. We're going to select our first plane, which is the face, and then we're going to drag it up two inches. And you'll notice that down here in the design history, we have a plane that's created that now we can create a sketch on. So if we hit Start a Sketch and then Create that plane, we now notice the origins are going to be in the same place. So now we are going to create an ellipse. So an ellipse is a circle with two center points. So we go ahead and click on ellipse and we're going to select the center point, which will be the center of the square. Drag out our major diameter, which is the bigger of the two centers. So we're going to make that two inches. And then, oops, I didn't do that right. I pressed the wrong button. So two inches, and then we're going to click, and then we're going to drag up our minor diameter, which will be 1.5, and click. And there is our ellipse. So it has two dimensions, a major and a minor. I believe that is correct. Let's quickly jump over. Uh, three by 1.5, that would be correct. In this case, I'm giving you the radius. You have to do the math. So now if we look uh, three-dimensionally, we can see that we have a square and a ellipse on two different planes. So we hit finish sketch and we now need to create what's called a loft between it, which is basically going to create a complex three-dimensional shape that transitions seam seamlessly from a square to an ellipse. So if we go under create, this is called loft and it's basically going to ask us for our two uh, uh, profiles. So we're going to select this profile. Well, we can select this sketch profile, that profile, and that profile. And it is going to create a shape that is transitioning from them. Now, there are other guidelines in here, whether we do radial or center path, can have effects on the way it flows and tangential edges um, and so forth. But for the most part, this is how we would make complex shapes like you know, handles and uh, vacuum cleaner knobs or vacuum cleaner parts. Um, I can't think of the word right now, but that is how we create a loft. So we go ahead and click OK. Now, um, this is the assignment that you have to do, and that's fine. But the net, if we wanted to, we could create multiple uh, offset planes. So I'm going to create another offset plane, and it's going to be from this plane and I'm going to go negative 2 and I'm going to create a sketch here and I am going to draw a uh, let's do a 1.75 circle 
So what we are now going to do is I'm going to show you how you can create uh, some different lofts. So one way to do this is I can loft between the circle and the square and click OK and then create a loft between the uh, circle or the I sorry I did the ellipse in the square and what I can do is create a plane between the two of them and that one gives us this kind of boxy uh, approach where it transitions into the square and then out of the square the other option is I can delete these two and um, I can show all my sketches and I can create a loft between all three and this will make a more of a sweeping shape where it doesn't have that hard transition between them especially if I turn off all the sketches so this goes down to that square shape but then transitions back to the circle so there is how we run a loft um, you can do one loft two lofts multiple loft you know or I'm sorry one sketch two sketch or multiple sketches in order to get the loft Okay, as we move on to the second part of week eight, we're talking about sweep. And this would be like for piping, a roll bar, a handle, um, like at a going up and down stairs or railing, you would really want to use sweep. So in this case, we need to create a path for the sweep. And I've made this just weird shape. So you can do this exact shape, which I'm going to demonstrate, or you can make a shape similar to it. It does not have to be exactly the same shape I have. That's not really the point. The point is how we do loft. So um, here we go. So we're going to create a sketch, pick a plane, draw out our line. So our first line goes up. It's um, two inches. So I'm going to press two, enter. Our next line goes over at an angle, comes down, goes over uh, two comes down and it should end even with this line so I'm gonna do a couple geometric constraints this one to this one um, I'm gonna dimension from the beginning point to the top of here which is three inches this line to this line which is two inches and this line to the end which is four um, it doesn't like that oh it does it wants this dimension here from here to here which is 1.5 inches okay now this is a case where in the past I've really preached not to use fillet within the sketch but this is a case where using fillet within the sketch is advisable so I'm gonna go ahead and use the sketch fillet and I'm gonna select from here to here with a 0.25 radius and then I'm gonna continue that on all my corners so we get a little bit nicer of a corner um, for some reason it doesn't like that but we're gonna go with it so this is our first sketch remember this is a uh, sweep needs two sketches and the trick with the second sketch is it needs to be 90 degrees to the first sketch so if we hit finish sketch we essentially need to create a sketch 90 degrees to this line which would be on our front so I'm gonna select start a sketch I'm gonna pick that front plane and we can make this any shape we want, but in this case, we are going to make it a 0.375 diameter circle. And we can hit finish sketch. Now we are essentially done with sweep, at least setting up the sketches. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this circle and we want it to follow this path or sweep along this path to create this shape. So if I go ahead and hit uh, uh, not revolve sweep, and select that profile select the path and it creates that shape now if I went back into this sketch we're gonna do it in a minute this is not required all I care is what we just showed but if we edit this sketch and we draw a inner circle we'll just call it 0.25 to make it easier and we say finish sketch and then back to sweep we are essentially gonna make a pipe a curved pipe but a pipe nonetheless or a sweeping pipe so we select this profile we select this path and now we have a hollow pipe that follows through that shape maybe some sort of handrail or part of a bench that uh, can be used but that is how we create a sweep 
Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something, and I'll catch you in the next one.